what kind of challenges this has presented for you? We had a rally at Washington Park last night and our message last night was where's the board because we've been ready to negotiate and the board has not been coming to the table or they've been coming to the table conditionally and we had a lot of support. I would easily say there was over 200 people at the rally last night which really encouraged our people to continue the fight that we're fighting for to keep our insurance. I've had students out on the line from the tennis team has come out to support us. We've had kids from the band, from the choir, from um, the drama department. We've had just uh, we've had students who no longer attend Ottawa High School who have come to, to show their support for us. The mood on the line is actually pretty positive. Um, I think everybody is supporting each other um, a lot and that's helpful. I've already seen our union grow a lot closer in the last week. Um, I think people are getting frustrated, not with each other, but with the inactivity on the part of the school board. I think the community um, of teachers growing closer is um, a huge reward. Um, I think seeing students out there walking with us too has been really uplifting for a lot of the teachers. Um, a challenge for me is the community feeling like um, just the community attitude that just is you hear over and over. It's really frustrating to know that um, parents of students whom I've taught in the past feel that I am a greedy and selfish person. Um, I have a very hard time with that. What um, do you We still can't be too crazy, you know. We kind of are backing off a little bit and eating in and more, you know, and uh, uh, not really doing a lot of things outside of here. But really, we don't have the energy to because we leave here and we go home and we play with our kids and we eat dinner and, and then we are almost beating our kids to bed. So. Um, One of the silver linings has been that we've gotten to kind of get to know one another a little bit better, and I guess that's one of the things that make us stronger. Um, so amongst ourselves, it's been it's been great. Um, as far as in the community, it's uh, uh, we get a lot of honks from people going by. I've been out there when I've seen like three or four people, I think, not honking, you know, and doing the other. But uh, it's been it's been positive, I think, from the community. And, uh, our, I have a neighbor down the street a few days ago who came down and just made a point to say, hey, we're totally in support of you, and this is a parent whose kids have already graduated and stuff, so I think, uh, I think it's all been a positive experience. I mean, it's frustrating, and none of us wanted to get to this point, but, you know, hopefully in the end, there's, we, we gain something out of it. I just hope that um, from the contract situation, we just are able to settle with a better insurance plan, number one, and settle to where we don't lose money. You know, if we don't if we don't gain a lot of money, that's fine. You know, we we just want what's best for our kids, what's best for us, what's best for future kids coming up, and. You know, if doctors in this area are are kind of um, are not granting our insurance, or I don't know what the word is, but um, then how are we supposed to get the care that we need? I know it's not all like every nobody has it perfect, but I think we can have it better. Well, you realize uh, who your brothers and sisters are, and you you realize who uh, cares about each other, and you find strength in that. And each day that we walk here, we, we grow stronger, we're more united. We know what we're up against. We have a board that will not uh, negotiate, refuses to negotiate with us, sets conditions to those. And right now, what we're, trying to do, what we're trying to do is make sure uh, that they're here at least to negotiate with us. We're here with a proposal, uh, as promised, at 2 o'clock, and we hope they will show.
I've never been a huge union person because I didn't, I don't get it. I, I never did until now. Um, and actually as I was walking the line this morning, I thought about other strikes that I've seen, not teachers necessarily, but unions of all groups, and, and I will look at them differently in the future, definitely. Um, and I think about um, the petty things that perhaps our union has bickered about in the past in our meetings, and I think that those types of things, while they'll always be there, that's not, um, those won't weigh on us. That's, that's not, this is the hardest thing I've ever done, and I think a lot of us have ever done. And um, we will get through it because we're supporting each other, and that's the only way. It's really cool that there's a lot of support. It makes it makes us feel like, yeah, we're you know fighting for what we believe in, but it's, we're also fighting for others. And like what we do, it's almost like a ripple effect. You know, what happens with us, it affects more than just us. going we aren't going to leave until we get what we what we deserve i we hear you loud and clear thank you very much